and it's Mrs. Odgers, your new head of year. Now, um, this week you should be getting a load of letters through your primary school and they're going to give you loads of really important information like your thumb scan um, information so that you can access the school canteen um, and the all important one which I know you're probably really eager to find out which is who your tutor is going to be when you come up to Haygrove School. Now we thought it'd be a really lovely idea for all the tutors to send you a quick hello video message um, so they are coming up right now. I'm Mr Ackland, I'm going to be a Year 7 tutor next year and I'm also going to be a teacher of mathematics. Hello, my name is Mrs Adcock and I will be your tutor next year in Year 7. Um, really looking forward to meeting you all and obviously getting a haircut, booked it on Sunday, just saying. Um, so yeah, I hope you're already well and look forward to meeting you all. Uh, whatever September brings, I'll be with you every step of the way and um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Have a great time. Make sure you get clued up on your Burnley facts because we won one at the weekend and you repair. Here we come. All right, guys. See you soon. Hello, I'm Miss Brown. I'm going to be a year seven tutor this year. Looking forward to seeing you and I teach PE. See you soon. Hi there, my name is Miss Drollett and I'm going to be a tutor for 7AE next year, so I'm very much looking forward to meeting my new tutor group. Also looking forward to meeting the whole of Year 7 and I teach PE and I'll teach all of you at some point throughout the year. Look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye. Hi Year 6, um, it's Mrs Hobson here. I'm a teacher of Philosophy and Ethics at Haygrove and I'm going to be a Year 7 tutor in September. I look forward to meeting you all then. Hello, my name is Mr Ridgement and I'm going to be a Year 7 tutor next year. You'll also find me in a science classroom teaching the three sciences, which I'm sure I'll get the chance to teach some of you next year. I look forward to meeting you in September. Hi, I'm Dr Ty. Uh, I'm going to be a Year 7 tutor next year, really looking forward to it. And uh, I teach science and specialise in physics at Haygrove. Look forward to seeing you all guys. Bye. Hello Year 7, my name is Mr Wheeler, I'm a science teacher at Haygrove School. I'm really looking forward to meeting you in September and I hope you have a great summer. I intend to spend mine learning how to use a stand-up paddleboard and doing my best not to fall in either the canal or the river or the sea, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, take care of yourselves and uh, see you soon. Cheerio! Well, they're a lovely bunch, aren't they? I bet you're really excited now and can't wait to see them. Um, as a part of our transition process, usually you would have come to Haygrove for the day. Now, obviously, we can't do that this year. So we've got a little bit of a special uh, video for you guys that Mar our sort of year 9, 10, 11 students have put together. Now, obviously, at some point, everyone who is at Haygrove would have had a first day. And we all get that you will all have little worries and questions about um, what it's like to be a student at Haygrove School. But I'll let you into a secret. It's a really, really great place to come to school. And the year 9, 10, 11 have put together lots of uh, answers and questions, questions and answers um, of things of worries, like simple things like, where do I put my bike? Um, and what, what time do I actually get to school? Um, so there's lots and lots of questions um, being answered by our lovely students and they're coming up right now. Hi, my name's Oscar and I'm Year 9 at Hairgrove. When you first start, you will be given a timetable and a map. On your timetable, there will be room numbers next to each of your lessons. To find those classrooms, you can look on the map and the rooms will be labelled on that. However, if you can't find your class, just ask someone and they will be more than happy to point you in the right direction. My name is Keenan and I'm part of the Junior Leadership Team. Some of you will want to know where to go on your second day of school when you arrive. Your tutor will tell you on the first day where your tutor room is and how to find it. So on the second day, if you just arrive there, your friends will be waiting for you. Looking forward to seeing you in September. Our school day starts at 8.40am when you have your morning registration on tutor time. 
If it is your year group's day, you will even have an assembly either led by your head of year or another member of staff. After morning registration, you will start your first lesson at 9am. So if you cycle to school, where you put your bike is near the front gate, the one that's farthest away from the bus lane, all the way on the right of the school. There's a big red uh, bike shelter, like a bike bike shed, where you can look up your bikes and it'll stay there all day. And then when you are ready to cycle home at the end of the day, you can just go in, unlock it and take it down the ramp. Hi everyone, my name is Luke and I'm going to be talking to you about school transport. So in the mornings, the bus will pick you up at your local bus stop, usually around 8 o'clock, but you can confirm the times either with an older sibling or friend or by getting in contact with the school. In the mornings, the bus will drop you off at our designated bus lay-by and you can walk to the school via the path at the end and it will take you alongside our sports hall. At the end of the day, the buses will be waiting to pick you up at the exact same spot as they dropped you off and... It usually takes about five minutes to walk there, but the buses tend to wait between five and ten minutes anyway, so you shouldn't miss it. Should you miss it, um, you, you should go to reception because it's the safest place for you, and you should either contact your parents yourself or you should get student services to do this for you. I'm Evie and I'm in Year 8. My question is what happens if the bus is late? So it is late in the morning sometimes, but just wait a while and then call the school if it still doesn't come and they'll help you. Just don't worry about it because you're not going to get told off because it's not your fault. And then in the afternoons it is late as well, but you just wait in the bus bay and the teacher will help you. Hi, my name's Jazz and I'm in Year 9. When I first joined Haygrove, I didn't know a single person. I was really scared and it felt really uncomfortable to be there. But within minutes of sitting down, I'd already made so many new friends. Don't panic when walking into a class of strangers, because before you know it, you'll know every single person in there. Hi, my name's Amy and I'll be moving into Year 11 next year. And I'm here to answer your questions about how will you know what lesson to go to next. Um, you will be given a timetable every year and you do need new one every year because it does change. But it also have your room names, your teacher names, your subject names, the times and the break and lunch on it. So you're all good. Um, if you do get a bit confused by it though, you can ask someone around the school and I'm sure they'll help you. But I hope this cleared everything up for you. Thanks. If you're lost, ask for help. People are very friendly in our school and teachers will understand when you're new. If you're late, teachers understand when you're new. And when you get to know your timetable on your way around, you'll be able to get to your lessons within the two minutes you're given. If your bus is late, it's fine because you're in tutor time and you have to go to reception and it will not count as being late. Hi Year 6, I'm Alana Martin. I will be in Year 9 when you join us. Who will I have my lessons with? Most subjects you have with your tutor groups. But maths, English and maybe science you will have in sets with other students from different tutor groups. Depending on which half of the year you are in, depends on how many sets for those subjects. If there are three tutor groups on your half of the year, then there will be three sets. If four, then four. Hope to see you soon. Hi, my name is Louise and I'm answering the question where and when can I eat? You can eat at break time, which is at 11 o'clock, or lunch time, which is at 1.20. You can either bring in your own packed lunch, buy something from the canteen, or buy something from the food hut in the Year 7 quiet area. There are multiple places where you can sit and eat your food. The deck, the Year 7 quiet area, the field, the hall, and your tutor room. As long as you have your tutor's permission and it is not a science room. Hi, my name's Lucy. I'm a year nine going into year 10 and I'm going to be telling you where you can go at break and lunch. If you've got hot food, you can go on the decking or in the hall. And if you don't, you can go to the field, to the quad, in the hall, on the decking or to your tutor rooms, on the picnic benches, or you can go to an extracurricular activity. Hi, my name's Ellen and I'll be telling you how to get food from the canteen. Once you've chosen what you want, you can go to one of the two tills where you can place your thumb on the thumbprint scanner or if you have a pin, you can type that into the keypad 
and that deducts the cost of the food from your account total. Buying food from the hot deli is exactly the same as buying food from the canteen whereby you use your thumb or pin to buy the food. Hello, I'm Will. So what do you do if you use a piece of equipment? Well first, you go ask the person next to you slash me. And if they don't have it, that's when you go ask the teacher. And most likely the teacher will have it, but if you don't, 90% of the time they will ask someone in your classroom to lend you a pen. After that, you've got to remember to give a pencil back slash pen at the end of the lesson. Hi, I'm Evelyn and I'm a Year 10 student at Hagrow School. Hi, my name's Abigail and I'm a Year 9 student at Hagrow School. So, if you lose something like a tie, then you will need to go to your head of year and ask for a new one and in return they'll ask for something like your phone, but then when you go and give it back to them at the end of the day, then you will receive your phone back. If you lose something bigger like your blazer, please contact your head of year or tutor and they will tell you what to do. So don't worry if it happens, lots of people do it, it's something that can be fixed. You don't get as much homework as you'd expect and I'd say in year seven, you probably get around five pieces a week and possibly an ongoing project in subjects such as art. Although it does vary of course and these are just estimates from what I remember. But I know if ever it does get too much, the teachers are always there to help you. My name is Brennan and the question I want to answer is how to show my homework works. So basically in lessons you'll be told what your homework is and what you need to do. So when you log in to show my homework later it will be there. And show my homework is sort of arranged like a calendar. So what you need to do first will be at the top. On the homework page there will be details with what you need to do. And there could be some websites or word documents to look at. On show my homework there is three types of homework. Assignments which is just your standard homework. Quizzes which are multiple choice and announcements which are just that. So that's how show my homework works. Hello, my name is Sophie and I'm currently a Year 10 JLT member at Haygrove School. I will briefly describe how your achievements will be recognised when you come to us in September. During class, if you have contributed, progressed or have behaved respectfully towards the teacher and classwork, you will receive an e-praise point. At the end of each term, you'll be awarded a certificate depending on the number of points you have earned. Also at the end of term, you may receive a certificate and badge if you have gained an Achiever Award. These are awarded based on your attitude to learning, attendance and school participation. They come in three levels, commended, highly commended and distinction. In July, there is an annual honours evening where exceptional students from year 7 to 10 will be awarded a trophy and a certificate. Each subject chooses one student from each year group to win this prestigious accolade. We hope that you are looking forward to joining Hagrove in September. We are looking forward to welcoming you. Hi guys, my name is Mia. So at Haygrove we have extracurricular activities after school but mostly at lunchtime. So to get involved with these you should try and find a timetable which will most likely be in your tutor that's what activity it is, what day it is, and what room or where the event takes place. So if you just turn up at the right time, then you can get involved. Hi Year 6s, my name's Kerry Hole and I'm a Year 9 going into Year 10. If you have a problem, you can speak to your Head of Year, you can talk to your Tutor, or any of your teachers would be happy to talk to you about something. Hello to all you upcoming Year 7s, my name is Poppy Armstrong and I have been a prefect at Haygrove School for the last year. My main role being the Head of Wellbeing, making sure that everybody in the school is healthy physically and mentally. My question is how can I relieve stress around homework and friendship? Make sure you do not get yourself in a tiz, do not make yourself upset over homework. Over homework, it will not make anybody's life easier it'll only make you more frustrated if you're really struggling perhaps try and get in contact with a friend watch some youtube videos go back to your old notes retrace your steps see how you've done it that might help you however copying answers from somebody else is not going to help you learn and it'll just make you struggle more friendship over the five years friendship groups will change and that is okay because people are changing they're growing they're finding out who they are and who they want to be However, if you're having specific friendship problems that are making you unhappy, there are a range of places and people that you can go to in order to resolve the situation. 
So um, you can go to a friend who isn't causing the drama that will help you out. You can go to your tutor, they are there to help you. You can go to a more specific teacher that you find yourself closer with. You can go to your head of year, they are also there for you, no matter how busy they might be. You can go to a parent or guardian who will also always be there for you. Hi Year 6, um, if you need to find me as your head of year, um, look for the um, playground tarmac area with the basketball courts in and then head over to this building here which says library learning support geography and then head through, I'm just going to walk through the door and then you'll see this door straight in front of you. Heads of your names on it. Hi, I'm Amelia and I'm in Year 10. How do I get involved in student leadership at Haygrove? At the start of Year 7, you'll be given an application form to join the Student Senate, which is a bit like a school council that you may have had in primary school. This will carry on throughout Year 7, 8 and 9, and then in Year 10 you can apply to become part of the junior leadership team, which have the silver and red ties. In Year 11, you can apply to, be to become the prefect, head girl or head boy, which have the red, gold and black ties. Hi, my name's Freya and I'm Year 9 going into Year 10. On your first day at Haygrove, you will be allocated a house team, Mallory, Bonington, Stevens, and will receive a badge depending on which house you've been put in. If you have an older sibling already at the school, you will automatically be put in the same house as them. The SEN department is in the same building as the library and you can access it through the red door on the left hand side just off of the courtyard. If you're not sure where it is, just ask a student, they should know by now. Hello Year 6 years. coming up in September. I am Stacey Gad and I am in Year 9 coming up in Year 10 coming up and where what does the learning centre look like in the SEN department? It's very big and they've got loads of laptops and loads of lovely staff. Hello Year 6, I'm Tristan and some of you may be a bit worried about coming up to Hagro School but do not worry about it. Because when I was in your shoes I worried about it but then I realised everything was okay and everything will be okay. Have a good time in Year 7. Hi, I'm Amy. You're probably feeling really nervous about starting Haygrove, but I just wanted to let you know that everyone is feeling nervous. But all the teachers and students are really lovely and supportive, so there's no need to worry. This is actually really exciting and Haygrove is going to become a great part in your life. Now I'm sure that's probably helped a lot. At least you know probably a little bit more now about what to do when and what to expect when you come up to us in September. The very first day when you come back, it will be just your sevens. So you will be the only year group in school. Um, so that will allow you to kind of find your feet, find your bearings and get to grips with sort of going around school, hopefully on that first day back. Um, but to be honest, once everyone is back, it'll be fine. Everyone's really, really friendly. It's such a lovely place to be and go to school. Um, and if you have any problems, all you have to do is just ask someone. Um, just remember, it was everyone's first day first day at one point and they know exactly how you feel. Um, if you do have any more questions also, you can get in contact with us on the school website. Um, there's a contact us page and also my email is on the transition page. That's it from me. Um, sorry, no more videos. Um, and I really, really want to echo what the tutors have said. I am so looking forward to meeting you. Um, and I cannot wait to start in September. Uh, take care, have a fabulous summer holiday. Um, stay safe and I will see you soon. Bye.